Hello, this is Nathan Freeman, and this is the Red Pill mobile demo. We'll start today's demonstration by discussing the background of the applications you're going to see. Then we'll look at five of those applications in the Notes client, and then those same five applications on a mobile device. I want to let you know now that all of the examples that you're going to see were completed using the Red Pill software in under an hour. We're going to start the demonstration by showing you some legacy Notes applications. These applications were collectively released in 1994 and known as the Nifty 50, and they were created by Lotus Development Corporation to demonstrate the power of Notes version 2. Now, if we don't think these are by any means representative of the state of the art today, but we do think that they're representative of the kind of applications that you probably have in your environment. They're 20 years old, they haven't been updated during that time, and they're based on long outdated standards. So let's get started. So we'll begin by taking a look at the electronic library database. This is a simple set of rich text documents with a few pieces of metadata. As you can see, we have HR policies and job descriptions. And if we open this up and have a look at, say, sick days, it's a very straightforward and simple rich text item. Next, we'll take a look at the presentations database. This is a simple electronic library containing a few pieces of metadata and attachments that can be downloaded. Next up is application tracking. This is an IT database that would track the other applications deployed into the Notes environment. So in this case, we see some of the other applications from the Nifty 50 listed within this one. This has a little bit more sophistication in the information. As you can see, we have some metadata like what its status is, uh, who the QA engineer is, and who the developer is, along with contact details for the application as a whole. Next up, we have customer service. This is actually a suite of databases that worked in an interconnected fashion. And we'll start with the call tracking database, where we keep track of customer callers with profile data and individual calls where they called in and asked questions or submitted support requests. Finally, we'll look at the HR system. This is another set of interconnected databases, and we're going to be paying special attention to the job candidates database. This is a tracking system for applicants for new jobs within our company. So that should give you some background information on the exact applications we're going to be looking at in the Red Pill mobile portal. Now we're going to have a look at Red Pill mobile on an iOS device. And we're going to see the same set of applications that we saw in the Notes client. We see we provide them here in a mobile interface. And I'm going to go to Electronic Library, just as we did in the Notes client. And you'll see we have our HR policies and job descriptions. And again, if we select Sick Days, we can see the Sick Day policy. And it's rendered a little nicer than it was in the Notes client because we've gotten rid of that blue background. We'll also have a look next at the Presentations database. So I can come in here and look at a list of presentations, and I'll open the XPages mobile controls that my colleague Peter Presnell put together. And if I select the PDF, because the iOS device understands a PDF, it just immediately downloads it and presents it to me to look at right away. So very simple and easy to use, and we can access the rich content that the Notes platform is famous for. Next, we'll have a look at application tracking. We've put a little more effort into this one by enabling an editing interface. So you can see we have an edit button at the top. And that allows us to go and change some of the content about the application. So we can select a different developer, or we can change the status. And if I want to change the description, well, I can clear out the existing contents and take advantage of audio input. This is where we track agreements with customers and vendors. There we go. And that's immediately saved back into the Notes application. Next up, we have customer service call tracking. So let's say I want to come into the call tracking. And I had a call yesterday with my friend Charles. And so I'll type in his name so I can find it again. 
And there's Charles's caller profile, Charles Karen Kumar. And now that I'm on the mobile device, I can simply tap on the phone number to call him immediately. I can also tap on his email address to send him an email. These are advantages we get by simply by virtue of being on the mobile device. Even better, if I come in and look at a support request from yesterday from Marguerite, you'll see we have an address. And this time I can select the address and immediately go and get directions and traffic details, taking full advantage of the mobile platform. Finally, we'll have a look at the HR application. We'll go into our job candidates list. And again, when we look at Jennifer's profile here, we can tap to call. But I also notice down here at the bottom that there's a little extra content. Some markup has snuck into this, uh, this field. And I want to let IT know that there's a bit of a problem on this application. So I select feedback. And I can say, oh, we need to change this form. The job candidates form has HTML markup in the details field. And there we go. So that immediately becomes a request for IT within the portal to correct uh, the rendering of an application. We also provide an integrated FAQ to allow for custom support documents. So as you can see here, we have an example of that that explains how to request additional applications be added into the mobile portal. So we hope you like what you've seen today. And if you'd like to find out more, you can contact us at info at redpilldevelopment.com. And if you'd like to see this demonstration for yourself on your own mobile device, you can go to red-pill.mobi and you'll be able to access all the same materials that you see here on my screen. Thanks for watching.